Hello everyone, Xenoism here. Welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Last time we did a Shadow Ascension quest, which was pretty long and pretty depressing. No way. Judging by those supplies, I would expect Philly to be there. Shall we go have a look then? Just ask yourself, can we really afford not to do it? Please convey this to Dame Malix. Look, I'm telling you, there's no way she'd agree. You seem to be having fun. Mind if I join in on the pleasantries? Huh? Dame Malix? Um, we can explain everything. Don't trouble yourself, Chickadee. I'll hear it from him directly. I want to hold a tech summit with Colony 30. Continue. I know you're reluctant, but now that we've been released from the flame clock and the wall between Kevis and Agnes has crumbled, now's the perfect time to institute a tech exchange. If it's successful, it could even lead to stronger, more lasting peace. You had problems with Colony 30 in the past? We fought against them before, just once, but they absolutely wiped the floor with us. Never before or since has Dame Alex misread an enemy to that degree. The bitter aftertaste from that event has lingered for years, giving us all headaches. Who's bitter at whom now? It doesn't sound half bad. Let's have a technology summit. Really? Dame Alex? Kevis's Colony 30 stands at the forefront of technology. This is not a problem in the slightest. Truly, not even a speck of one. Now we've done it. Chickadee, contact Colony 30. Tell them I'm coming. Yes, understood. Gambert, we will rendezvous there. I'll bring results home, you'll see. Of course, Mom. I'll depart on the double. They've definitely got skills there, but this is Valdi we're talking about. I don't think you need to get so worked up. Suppose I told you that Colony 30 was currently struggling with an urgent water shortage. What would you imagine? Huh? Oh, I don't know. Burst water mains or something? Or their spring dried up? Incorrect. The right answer was big cleaning project at the colony. Oh, you have got to be joking. Regrettably, I am not. It really happened. That does kind of sound like Valdi, though, huh? There are also many Nopon living there. They tend to follow their own unique rules. Precisely. They are unique, and therefore worth studying in greater depth. Knowing your opponent and preparing accordingly, that is the foundation of any battle. Do you still consider Colony 30 your enemy then, Alexandria? This isn't about enemies or allies. All I'm saying is that the side that gets careless loses. So your strategy is outright distrust then? What are you trying to say? Hurt others first, to avoid being hurt yourself. Do you think that's logical? It's a matter of opinion. And you're entitled to that. Say what you will, but they've got a good colony over there. Uh, right. If you don't mind, could we attend this technology summit of yours? We could help introduce you and Valdi, too. Yes. I dare say with you by my side, they may be less guarded than otherwise. I suppose I may require your assistance. Inescapable past. I see some relations have changed. It's Valdi. They're not going. <laughs> Knowing Valdi, he probably doesn't even remember. Oh, obviously, he's not going to remember Oxalogy. Looks like I'm an idiot. relations have changed. I really say, he's not going to remember Alexandria. Obviously, he wouldn't know Alexandria. He might remember her colony, though. <sighs> I'm an idiot. Whoa! Whoa! This... this is all just... so over the top! Yes, though mainly your reaction. Ah! Welcome, welcome. I've been waiting. Hey, pal. How you doing? Not too shabby, I suppose. 
Riku, Chief. Manana. Friend Baldi! Manana missed friend! <laughs> no need to be shy, Chief. I envy you your energy levels, bud. It has been a while. I'm glad to see you in high spirits. Thank you. And yes, I'm pretty good. Um, who's this? <laughs> She's the commander from Colony Iota. You got the message, right? Oh, you're Auntie Xandria. Thanks for reaching out. It's Alexandria, actually. It would honor me greatly if you'd remember. Alexandria. A pleasure to meet you. I'm the commander of Colony 30, Valdi. This will be my first technology summit. I'm really excited about this. I, myself, not so much. Hey, now. Really? You don't like Levinus's? I don't. Especially yours. I see. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Then I hope that by the end of the day, you'll have learned to love them just as much as I do. You're a credit to your colony, Commander. But don't you think you should be on your guard, even a little? Why would I? We have no reason to fight. You might be the only one who thinks that. <laughs> Obviously not. If I was, the others wouldn't have brought you. You trust them, don't you? Just as you do, right, Alexandria? Yes, of course. Hmm. All right, then. Let me show you around. There's lots of stuff on the ground, so you'll have to watch your step. I have nothing to hide from friends. But feel free to look around. I see some relations have changed. Valdi seems happy, doesn't he? I bet he doesn't get to show off like this very often. I love it. Everywhere I turn, there's hard-working Nopon. Oh, they're not working. They're just doing their own thing. They snooze when they're sleepy, and meet when they're hungry. Sometimes they just wander off. Still, they look quite busy. What might they be making? So, just listen to this. I've been thinking about it a while. We're looking into constructing a smaller, stronger levels, focusing on three pillars. Durability, serviceability, and ease of use. Actually, the whole premise of our work, like fixing things, might need rethinking. If you put too many feet, then you need more time and parts, and it ends up costly and hard. Not to mention the handling, so to get out of the cycle. All right, calm down now. Huh? But I was calm. <laughs> I like this guy already. <laughs> <clears throat> This new model's design is really very interesting. Thank you. I'm happy you think so. Oh, hey, do you want to work with us? We've just been looking for team members for Project Bingo. Bingo? It's what I'm calling this new model. I was thinking about it, and when I figured it out, it was like, Bingo. So we named it that. Sounds great. I spend lots of time thinking about stuff, too. So I'd love some hands-on experience to really improve and... Gambert? By which, of course, I mean... Do you have any units in a state closer to completion? Sure I do. I just made friends with one such unit recently, in fact. What do you mean, friends? I'll introduce you. She's in the hangar over there. How many Levnesses does he have here? These are his friends. Uh, don't worry too much about it. This is Valdi. What the? Wait, wait, wait. Robo Buddy is a friendly. Robo Buddy? <laughs> it's this little one's name. Where'd you pick it up? Oh, she was strolling about outside. It must have been on patrol, dude. Did you have to go and drag it in? It doesn't treat Kavesi as hostiles. Or does it not even distinguish between Kevis and Agnes? But why would that be? Some error in the control circuits? There's no errors here, and she's not broken. You're conversant with Agnian technology? No way. Well, I guess I dabble, but there's tons of stuff I don't understand there. That's where I started tinkering with those that I do. First, the question of how Agnian autolevs operate autonomously. 
I think it's mostly to do with ether signaling, but I figured if we could break it down, we might be able to transmit stuff back to them from our side as well. Anyway, I spent ages racking my brain about it, but if you look at stuff like friend or foe identification, it gets mixed up. Wait, wait, back up. Are you saying you can control it? Well, it's not that precise, really. But at least we're friends now. Right? Is this for real? If they actually succeed at implementing this at scale... Yeah. It would turn the rules of engagement right on their sparking head. Valdi, what are you having Robobody do? Just moving and disposing of materials. It's still in the test phase, so we're keeping things simple. And which section is in charge? That would be the bingo guys. Why? Why don't I ask you straight? Are you planning to use it as a weapon? No flipping way. I would never. She's not for fighting. I made friends with her to stay friends with her. Well, if that's the case, then it would seem you've missed your mark. Your friend seems to have other plans. Robo buddy, why? No use debating it. Ready arms. Interesting. So this is your weak point. Smooth as ever, Annie. Fire Transformed, just to transfer back. Robo buddy. Well, that makes things clear. Somebody within Colony 30 has been secretly misappropriating materials. Misappropriating? What are you talking about? Look at the Collectopedia card. You said the three pillars for your new Levness were durability, serviceability, and ease of use. However, you'll notice that the materials RoboBuddy was collecting were waning lapis and vanolium. A brittle rock and a highly scarce metal. What ought we to think about that? Oh, you're right. This isn't what I asked for. But uh, hang on, Alexandria. How did you know to check our Collectopedia cards? I asked her to. I figured it might help, but it looks like I was right. Do you have any idea who the culprit might be? Not at all. Maybe it's all just a big misunderstanding. No, RoboBuddy clearly turned hostile and attacked us. Which is to say, it must have been under the control of someone other than Valdi. But what were they after? Might it have been to make a poison? Poison? Yes. Both of those materials contained certain toxic compounds. Of particular note is the lack of identifiable scent or flavor. When mixed in with food, they're nearly unnoticeable. Well, someone's well read. Our console had some shady hobbies, and he liked to talk. So, what would happen if you swallowed it? Depending on the concentration, dizziness, numbness, diarrhea, emesis, and in more severe cases. Ugh, enough, enough. Oh, fantastic. I managed to retrieve the logs. If we analyze them, we should be able to figure out where it came from. Is that okay? A okay by me. We gotta stop the baddies. All right then. Sorry to use your friend like this. Looks like the friendship part might have all been in my head. But thanks for thinking of it that way anyway. Honestly, such carelessness. Alexandria? You've been looking sad all this time. Hmm? Something the matter? Anything we could help with? I'm, I'm used to all this, and they hate it. Alex? It's nothing. You don't have to worry. All right. Analysis is complete. You can unpack the data whenever. Good job, Gambert. Why don't you wait here? Commander, I trust I can leave my man with you? Huh? I thought I'd be going with you. But there may be other machines like RoboBuddy. You're the only one who can tell them apart. Let's tackle both threads simultaneously. Yeah, okay. I'll stay in the colony this time, then. Give RoboBuddy's boss my regards. This is weird.
Why would this be a trail? Tyon, what's your opinion on this? It's mostly aligned with yours. There's something else going on here. Still walking. With such an inconvenient path. Oh no, don't tell me I'm gonna climb. Keep climbing. We'll take two. Okay, that's very good. Okay, so it's still moving. Why does it stop in the water? We're going so far for nothing. Alex, are you okay? You're not looking too well. It's nothing. I'm just thinking about the past. Please sit somewhere here. Not so far. Destination. 
This is where the logs run out. Let's search the surroundings. No, hold on. Past there is... in the book. Dear Ouroboros, how do we ever fear you? I know that screech. It's the consul from Valdez. So he's alive? If I died so easily, I'd be a human. But as fortune has it, I... Hey! I'm still talking here! I'm sorry. I couldn't care less. How <laughs> primitive can you get? You didn't really think you'd fooled me. No. Huh. I knew you for a craven, Alex. You were plainly going to secure the retreat. Oh, so you do have two brains to have. Everything's going numb. <laughs> A very special lifness that was. Oh, it isn't fast acting, so relax. I formulated it for the water supply, you see. You're after... Colony 30. It doesn't matter so much where. The important thing is the water. It will soon become the object of the most vicious raids! You worm! However, seeing as you're here, I might arrange a whole different playtime. <gasps> we can create a tableau of your little act of betrayal and see how you like it when you're the one being poisoned! Act of betrayal? <laughs> Stop spewing your idiot lies! Oh dear, you haven't told your friends then. Well then. I guess they're no friends of yours! <laughs> to make him weak, then staged it like he died in battle. Even better, she made her accomplices, team leaders, to shut them up. And they're still chumming it up today. Alex. He's telling the truth. I regret nothing. He wasted men and resources, clung to outdated tactics. If his tyranny continued, Iota would surely have collapsed. Oh, how grisly! How ghastly! Never knowing when one might die in one sleep. Unable to trust your friends. <laughs> I'd go so far as to say they lost their trust in me. That's right. And so, I'm not asking you to trust me.
keep forgetting. <laughs> Demonstrate in quick order! Was too close for comfort. You can say that again. Oi! What the spark were you playing at? I seriously thought you'd snuff it. Hey, I trust you. I knew you'd make it in time. Probably. What? On what basis? <laughs> well, I didn't exactly have time to ponder it. You smug little clod. Please don't frighten me like that. But why? How can you do those things? You could have died. Yes, but that's just Noah's way. How have you survived this long if you're always so careless? I'm telling you, we count on one another. That's how we've learned to do it. Perhaps I'm not explaining it right. But in any case, I think there's something rather elegant at the heart of it. So that's what you call strategy? I swear, you Ouroboros must be the most peculiar people I've met. Too peculiar to trust? If you were, I'd have been long gone. Thank you for trusting me. Right back at you. Let's get back to Valdi. He's probably getting worried. Return right back. Welcome back, you guys. That was shocking news you sent. Didn't think I'd hear about Q again. I'm sorry about putting you through that. Don't worry about it. We've gotten a lot out of the bargain as well, I assure you. And I'm sure Gambert has been absorbing it all like a sponge. Dame Alex, about that. Respectfully, there's something I'd like to discuss, if you please. You want to stay here, don't you? How did you know? The Nuphon are staring. Well then, Valdi. What would you say if I propose a temporary staff exchange? 
Gamber, for one of your mechanics? Play Maddox? Really? I think it would be intellectually stimulating for both our sides. All right, sounds cool. Let me quickly talk to my buds. Hey, Alex. What's... Uh, what's brought this on? Pardon? Brought what on? Ah, uh, never mind. We got the okay. They say they'll move ASAP. Very good. This should help foster better relations between our colonies. What do you mean, better? We're already fast friends. You're right. <laughs> I misspoke. Gamba, come on. Got to introduce you to everyone. Huh? Wh what? Now? Hey, hang on! Well, that's one thing taken care of. Right. About that. We won't tell anyone about what Q said. I mean, it's not like you could get court martialed for it at this point. For the record, though, I can't say I approve of your methodology. Indeed. If you try something like that again, well, we'll just have to stop you. And then we'll put our heads together to come up with a less bloody way. So no more agonizing alone, got it? That's reassuring. If that's how you really feel, then let us help you. That is, since we're friends now and all. I... Hmm? Uh, thank you. Sure. And thank you too. Wow. That was for saving me earlier? I hadn't had a chance to say it sooner. You really didn't have to. It would have eaten at me if I didn't. I have to say, I thought you were more chill than that, Alexandria. Ah, She's actually kind of a sweetheart, ain't she? What? Are you making fun of me? It's just a bit of friendly banter. You'll get used to it in no time. So she's learned how to open up a little. Good for her. I so just love how Ion just puts high on. She says, "Good for." Her. I'm here too, and I'll do. Art officer, Valdi. Hey, Valdi, is Yuzet not around? Ah, oh, you're right. I wonder where he's gone. Oh, there. You zapped! What happened? We're standing one minute and then flop onto ground. What? You're overreacting, don't you think? I'm just exhausted, that's all. You've been pushing yourself too hard. Workload's pretty intense right now. I've got to do my part to keep the colony running. Is it really that bad? We used to get support based on how well the Levener Squadrons performed in battle. The castle provided for us. So now we have to work like a mudder to make up the shortfall. Why didn't you tell me? Didn't think I needed to. I thought I could manage well enough by myself. Now that stink of untruth. You said working hard for Valdi. Did not want sympathy vote. Hey! You said want to act dependable to get on good side of Valdi. Tried hard not to show weakness. Is that true? What does it matter? Fact is, I can't be lying down on the job. Look, we get that you're under a lot of pressure. What is it that needs doing, anyhow? Dispatching of Levnesses to Colony Lambda. To Lambda? So you're lending out Kavesi Levnesses to Agnes? That's right. Even after they've served their purpose in battle, the Levnesses themselves can still function. I wanted to get as much use out of them as I could. So he say. But now look at Sorry's state of him. But Papa also been showing you that Rope's a little side project. Oh, you were teaching me. Let me help. I'd love to. Come on, give me a job to do. Huh? Uh, well, if you're asking, how about handling the Levner shipment I was talking about? Once you get them there, it's just a matter of delivering them to the commander. Sure thing. I can do that. Incidentally, what need does Commander Izzard have with Kavesi Levnesses? I'm not 100% on the details, but he wants them for some kind of survey. Levnesses to scout something out. I wonder what's going on at Lambda. No point speculating when we can just check it out ourselves. Right? Right. Be thorough, yeah? Oh, but, uh, don't push it too hard. Oh, we'll be fine. You just take a lie down and make sure you're all rested up. So then, off to Colony Lambda we go. I'm a mechanic. Is now 
Our next quest. Looks like colony relations have changed. Oh, just teleport there. Looks like colony relations have changed. Hello, Izzard. Commander Izzard, right? We're here with the Levinus as you ordered. I appreciate how readily you accepted our request. Thank you. But I must say, I hadn't expected you to deliver them in person, Commander. Yeah, sorry about that. We had to improvise. Ah, oh, you know how to operate them, right? Our guys normally do the piloting. We've hired pilots for that very reason. Though, we wouldn't mind getting some pointers. Oh, that's great. Our pilots have been wanting to chat with you, too. Anything you need to know, just ask. Glad to hear it. Commander Izzard, I hear you're using the Levnesses for some sort of survey. Care to divulge? Yes, uh, about that. We've observed recently that our water sources around the colony are being rapidly depleted. So you're using them to investigate? No. In fact, the survey branch has already identified the cause. It's the Ansels living at the top of the Great Falls. Ansels? But their natural habitat should be the Urian Mountains. Indeed. And their presence here has been affecting the flora. We're particularly concerned about their laying waste to the cure grass we use to treat our troops. That's an issue, all right. So you want to take those overgrown feather brains out of the picture? That it? Which is why you need powerful Evnesis. You're looking a bit worse for wear there, Izzy. You been running yourself ragged too? Too? My lieutenant's also been burning himself out. Oh. Noah? We'll help you out too. I appreciate the offer, but I think... You underestimate this job, and you're going to collapse from overexertion too. Better to share the load, no? It'll make life easier. Valdi's really worried about him. Could be a nice little excursion. No one's gonna complain. All right then, if it's no trouble. We'll have this issue sorted in no time flat with you on board. Easy peasy. Just let us have it. I look forward to this, Commander Valdi. Where's the closest? Probably ends up actually being here, which is weird to say, but it is. Oh, my sparks! The cute. Slow swim. The Ansels were sighted a bit further up, right? That's right. There are skeeter nests around here as well. We should take care. Wait, is that? Uh oh. I think they just gave me the side. Is this who's been giving you so much trouble? Sir, uh, oh, 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 can't let you show me up, Noah. Here we go, ladies. Light turn to shine. With you around, Senna. Huh. That looks like them all. They won't be tearing up the cure grass any longer. I hope that now. Their fighting days are finally over. Valdi, please to look. Such pretty, pretty flowers. Oh, wow. But it's such a tiny patch of them. <sighs> you think those ants have got them or something? No, those flowers are from the Urian Mountains. And they don't normally grow in this region. Well, how then? Maybe it's just as Uni said. Maybe the Ansels carried the seeds and they ended up here. That's nuts. 
They probably had the seeds stuck in their feathers. And they just happened to land here. Still, of all the places they could have bloomed. It's just random chance, Uni. Not like they grew here on purpose. Only questions whether they make it. <gasps> they did choose. They chose to bloom up here. They never gave up. They're just like me. This world, it lives and breathes just like me. Happy Revelation? Yeah, it's awesome. I never thought we'd be able to find a serious anemone here. You look pretty pleased, Tyon. Make us a cover then. Why then? Via teleporting. I see it went well. We've already received your report. About the Ansel's impact on the environment. It's all good. Our survey branch will be monitoring the situation carefully. Then how about we leave the Levnesses here? Could you give us an update if you happen to find out anything new? You feeling okay there, Valdi? You sound like you're interested in something that's not a Levness. Oh, come on. They're adapting to their environment by themselves. It's such an amazing phenomenon. How could I possibly pass it up? Ah, how indeed. The most feared mechanic in Kevis. So wide-eyed and innocent. Huh? Up until we met in person, I pictured you as a cold, ruthless commander who would stop at nothing to achieve victory. That's the Colony 30 Consul's fault. Yeah. Valdi himself's got nothing but levness on the brain. Hey, that's me. Well, perhaps you're right. I've been blindly sending Levnesses to their destruction. But you're only looking at one aspect of the whole. Aren't you furthering a large-scale project for a new model? I hear it's a type of Levness designed for a wholly different purpose. Huh? How'd you hear about that? The survey branch has eyes and ears everywhere. Ooh, look at me in the fancy spy network I used to work for. You're talking about Doric? He's my friend. When he's finished, you've got to come visit. I believe I will. I look forward to building a lasting friendship with Colony 30. I'd be happy to accept your assistance in the future. Great, I can't wait. Good news all round, huh? Hey, the Colony Who? Relations now team. I'm friends with Izzard. Yuzette has so got to hear about this. <laughs> well then, let's not keep him waiting. Back to Colony 30. Something smells tasty. I'm back! Hey, you taking it easy now? Yeah. You were gone for some time. It wasn't just a quick there and back. Yeah, one thing led to another. Sorry to butt in. Yuzette, the Nothbot are in a real tizzy. Won't stop moaning about the lack of Levnite. Oh, they've finally gone and used it up. Is it important? It's an ore we use for Levinous maintenance. Tune them up with it and they're gliding like they're on ice. We're already negotiating with Colony 4 to get us some of theirs. I, uh, don't suppose you could try to smooth things over with the crew, just for the time being. Oof. Well, I'll see what I can do. You Zed, you know that transmission we received earlier? Well, there's a problem. How much is this guy juggling? There's not much point in him trying to recuperate here when he keeps getting pestered like this. What? What do you mean? You can't erase a shipment? Ah, oh, I wasn't privy to the details. 
All I know is that some guy called Solon from Colony 4 told us to tell you. Hey, Noah. I know what you're thinking. Let's take this to Colony 4. Let's. Hey, the colony relations changed. More moving about. Something smells tasty. Hmm. These are not good tidings. Especially when we're so swamped. Excuse me, are you so long? Hmm? Oh, yes. How may I help you? I'm here about the Levnite shipment to Colony 30. I was told that you couldn't send it, and I was hoping to find out why. Did you run into an issue? Well, we sent some of our compeers to Dana Desert, but we haven't heard from them since. I can't exactly leave my post, so I was deliberating as to how we should proceed. You said the desert, right? Anywhere in particular? The richest Levnite veins can be found by a landmark known as Glamrock, so you might try there. That seems like enough to go on, right? We'll head out there to look for them. You... you do this. We can't just ignore someone in need. And besides, we need to get our hands on that Levnite. Well then, thank you very much. I hope to hear good news from you. Round or if it's going straight. <sighs> Whoa, what's with that one? At least we're going to a new area in the Nod Desert. This isn't a location. But we'll go get some experience. Look, a supply drop. What should we do? Hey, get a load of this. Few things tied. We won't deal with them right now. Be able to climb up with that. This looks climbable. Just slowly climbing. Topographical info update. Clondos table. T table. Table. I should write this all down. Stop a bull with you around. 
Senna. Are you all right? I really thought it was over for us. Your lifesavers. You've never seen critters like that before. They really caught us off guard. Yeah, it's weird that those monsters were there. One would usually expect them to reside in their natural habitat, above the Great Cot Falls. So they decide to move house? This isn't walking distance we're talking here. They'd have had to have migrated from their old territory. After what happened to those mountains, the Ansels must have tried to take shelter beneath the Great Falls. I'll bet that's what pushed these guys out. And then they moseyed on over here to the desert. Solon just gave us an update. You're here to pick up the Levnite? If you want, we can just give it to you here. Saves your trip back to Colony 4, right? Are you sure? Well, thanks. This will at least take one thing off you, Zet's plate. Then we'll do more. See? I can get things done when I put my mind to it. We're done with the Levnite issue, too. Back to Colony 30, then? Ha! Oof. This is a giant ass part. But let's go to the top. Slowly climbing. It doesn't have anything. These are worth a bit, right? Really? No, I mean, the monster. It's just <laughs> this. I would have made this secret area honest, honestly. Because it's got a pretty good view. Before anyone says, we oh, really they wouldn't make a secret area part of the quest. Oh, they've done it so many times before in previous games and in this one. Hold up. That Levness. Hey, Commander. Good to see you back. Hey, Zusa. This little buddy's the Levness we lent Izzard, isn't it? Doesn't he want it anymore? To thank us for your offer of cooperation with Colony Lambda, they've sent us a fair bit of supplies and food. Wow! All this? I'll need to thank him a bunch. Ah, Commander, there you are. Guess what? Colony 4 just approached us with a deal to receive regular shipments of Levnite from them. What? 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 I'll head down the docks and tell everyone. And just like that, it would appear that the bond between our respective colonies has been restored. Nice one. Huh? He hasn't even realized, has he? Come on, man! You brought everyone together, Valdi. I... I did? It's really quite amazing. Even though you're all doing different things, you help each other out in all sorts of different ways. That's right. And when there's something missing, it always has a knock-on impact somewhere else. Sometimes you don't notice something's awry until after that effect has manifested itself. Ah. You know, the world's kind of like a levis, isn't it? It's like a mesh of so many different parts, all interconnected. And because it's made up of all these different things and people, it moves. It's alive. So then, Baldi and Manana are also belong to parts of the world? Not just us. My buddies here are too. Not just some tools to be used, eh? Right, they're not. I'm just reaching for ideas right now. But hey, I'm a mechanic. And if the world's like a Levness, then I sure a spark should be able to fix it. I'll make a new tomorrow, where we can all live in harmony. Ambitious goal for Grease Monkey. But willing to keep on radar, with much giving of side-eye. I'll take that as a compliment. Was not compliment. Well, I believe in you, mate. Your Kevis is number one mechanic, after all. You can't argue with that. <laughs> Shucks. Okay, then. Let's report him to UZ, shall we? Hey, the colony relations changed. Doric. 
use that? Shouldn't you be lying down? Nah, I'm feeling way better. I'm not just putting on a brave face for you guys, okay? I'm not. Uh huh. All right. If you say so. Thanks for always getting us out of trouble, Yuzet. What? Where'd this come from? Turns out this guy's actually more thoughtful than you give him credit for. Thoughtful? From now on, I'm helping you with your chores. So let's both do the best we can and make some of the finest levenesses the world has ever seen. Sure, count on it. Uh, as if, over my dead body. Huh? If I trust you with anything, things are gonna get way out of hand. You just casually go and extend the leases on Levness rentals. You plain give away the materials that we cracked down on after we caught those guys illegally hoarding. Every time you give a report, my blood runs cold. Think about how I feel trying to manage this stuff. Ah, uh, right. Um, sorry. Still, I'm glad to see you're feeling well enough to give me a telling off like that. Glad, but I'm seething with rage here. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. So, uh, I guess none of this really sorted out Yuzette's workload problem, did it? Yeah, I guess not. But maybe this is a good way for them to mesh in the end. Maybe it is. Remember what Issa told us? That you can't just look at one aspect of the whole. I think that's how it is with Colony 30. Quest complete. And we're flat. That is the end of Voldy's. Doesn't look oh. much different, if I'm being honest. We always knew it'd be a big job. And we can take we... plug it away at it, shall we? Yeah, we, we can take we to you helping build Doric. Next time, on Zeal of the Chronicle 3, we will do a search and then leave the last one, Isagiri. And after that, well, it's time, it'll be ration time. See you guys then. Zeno Zimmer, signing out.